Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about ratio of seniors and juniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is the ideal ratio of juniors and seniors on a team? Well, this is a good question. And I think that the reason why I like this question is because it indicates that you understand something and the thing that you understand is that there is such a thing as a good ratio to an effective software team because the f naive person will say that well of course a hundred percent seniors well that's not always true you see the thing about software development is that some people believe that it is so unbelievably hard to do this that nobody except for the people who in some magical fashion manages to acquire enough experience to do it well are going to be able to make any meaningful contribution to the project and that's just not true you see the fact of the matter is that there is definitely a need for experienced developers to make sure that make sure that things go well but the work that you do is not that complicated all the time that it can't be done with someone by someone with less experience as long as they get the right instructions and have some understanding of where they're going a guide if that makes sense I like to think of it as very similar to uh, having I, I mean this is the case for many 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 occasions I mean there are many other industries where this is the sort of thing that happens I mean if you want to be a surgeon or if you want to be an architect or something like that what you usually do is that you hire someone who is extremely good someone with experience and then you'd have the people who are in training the junior profiles shadow that person so that they learn and that doesn't mean that they just stand there and watch until one magical day that they actually have the skills to do this you give them tasks that are appropriate for their skill level same thing with law same thing with quite a lot of other stuff so for me the ideal ratio of a software team is going to be to have at least two senior developers depending on the size of the software team now if you're like we're talking a fresh 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 team that there's nobody else working there then I, the ratio is probably it's probably good to have a ratio of one senior to one uh, junior developer ideally and this is just me speaking here there this is not always the case because even though you have a senior and a junior that the dynamic of that team may not always work out because you need to have the right senior if you're going to have two have one senior to every one uh, junior at least in the beginning of things simply because the senior might not want to pretty much always be responsible for making sure that the junior knows what that person is doing and like always helping out and so forth because while that is being done there is no real way for that senior to focus on the work that they are supposed to be doing they kind of have to well basically you're you're actually going to lose more capacity you you can think of it as uh, losing a lot of the benefit of having a senior on the team uh, until the junior is trained so I personally believe that if you're s establishing a new team there should be a two ju there should be two seniors to one junior to start off with and then what what I've seen at least in my own work is that if that ratio is held you can grow that team by a, around one to two developers every quarter every four months roughly that is about as much time that uh, you're going to need if you have the right team composition like the right type of people uh, together in order to onboard that junior developer make them productive and self-reliant and I mean they're still gonna have questions to the seniors but they're going to be able to produce res meaningful results and work fairly independently and when that's taken care of you can take on the next one because uh, at least in my experience what you want to go for is to have at least one senior developer who can address very urgent high stake tasks such as critical bugs like unforeseen deliveries or 
features that are related to very complex parts of the system that the, the junior just doesn't feel ready to deal with. And if you have two senior developers, you always you're in a very very nice sweet spot because ideally that's going to mean that you can meet your workload because workload is something that also factors in here. If you have a lot of work, then you might have need to have more people. But ideally, this means that you can trust that the really high stake stuff is going to be taken care of and the junior is going to have someone that has time to actually educate them and help them and answer questions and things of this nature. And what I think is so beautiful about that is that after you have around four to uh, say let's say four months about a quarter in terms of uh, time investment into that junior developer you're most likely going to see that this person doesn't need as much help anymore and the senior developer who has been helping out or like if they split the responsibility they're going to go back to almost normal levels of productivity so now you can if you want to grow the team even further actually add another junior maybe even two juniors because now you have three people and although that uh, the first junior isn't as senior as the senior developers that person still now has meaningful domain knowledge and the ability to help out with common tasks at the lower end in other words the if you invest in making sure that the first few juniors are getting to the team after you have a few established seniors if you make sure that they get up to speed and they get productive and that they really know what they're doing then you're actually going to see an, uh, your 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 growth is going to go exponential it's it's a great thing it's not linear in uh, add it's not a linear process it actually goes faster and faster as long as you make sure that you actually allocate the resources that are needed to give the people the attention they need in the beginning so they get good foundation knowledge. So what I want you to take away from this is that, at least for me, I believe that the ideal ratio, ratio for a software team, now usually a software team is going to consist of around three people, uh, like you were talking the smaller teams, I'm just going to assume that, is to have two seniors to one junior. And the reason is very simple, because then you have the ability to address critical tasks or an urgent work, because you will always ideally have one senior that can work 100% capacity on those tasks. Whereas the other senior will still have time, not in the beginning when the junior first starts, but you will very quickly see that after around three months, you will get, that person is going to get more and more time over. And before you know it, you're actually ready to hire your next junior developer and keep on adding manpower to your roster. And you don't actually have to add all that many more seniors because you, say you, you already have an educated junior who has a domain knowledge that is at the level of those sorts of tasks. The only time I would argue you should add more seniors when you already have two of them established in a, in a single team is if we're dealing with very complicated features, things that are tasks that are beyond the normal junior developer and that is not, it's actually not that common. So you have to look at the sort of work that you're doing in that scenario. If you figure out that a lot of the stuff that is being done, well, some of it is very high stakes and very complicated. Well, if the seniors have the time have the time to deal with that, and everything else is sort of simple stuff, well, then it doesn't make sense to hire a senior to do that sort of work. Then you can simply add uh, more juniors. I have at least found this to be a very good strategy for building up my teams, and I would say that on average. Most uh, pretty. I don't. I have never been part of a team so far that hasn't completely nailed practically everything in terms of deadlines, team composition, and like team overall team happiness. It usually ends with a great success when we have this approach. Have a great day.